Hi, welcome Aries. This is your reading for June 2021. Again, okay, so if you have subscribed for my previous Aries reading, this could be a continuing or just um, fresh new energy for other Aries out there. Remember, this is a general reading, so only take what resonates. I want to thank you so much, Aries. Um, when I first uploaded your June 2021 from the 1st to the 15th, I had a lot of viewings, a lot of compliments, a lot of comments, a lot of likes, um, a lot of private readings. So it was a success. Thank you guys so much. Um, I set this intention for this reading to as well be very successful. Archangel Michael, please protect me with love and white light around me from any negative eye, evil energy. For anyone who has sent me any negative energy, please send it back to the sender and protect me and my community here. Okay, let's get to it. So, I call upon my ancestors, Archangel Michael, my spirit guides, okay, to come through and help me with this reading for Aries, June 2021. So, from whenever you're watching this to the end of June, let's see. Spirit is saying some of this energy can actually be moving into July. Stay tuned because I will be uploading July's reading, okay? We do have marriage coming up here, so... Um, this did come up in the last reading, all right? Some of you guys here may be dealing with a married person, or you could be married to someone here. Let's see what's going on, Spirit. What's the energy for Aries in the month of June, Holy Spirit? Aries for the month of June, for my collective energy of Aries. What's going on? What's the tea? Woo! Okay, so, yeah, that you saw how that flipped. Okay, we have distance, horizons, fall, person, and path, okay? You might be, um, I feel like some of you are breaking free, okay? Spirit is saying to show you this. Some of you guys, there's a path here that is opening, okay? You're finally breaking free from something, from some of, from a false person in your environment. And this is in the distance horizon here, okay? Someone that was holding you back, um, all right? I'm hearing drowning. Maybe you felt like you were drowning. But you're going to go through a transformation. Okay, we have Courthouse. That's the first card popping up with the number 23. Okay, let me show you guys. We have Courthouse. There you go. What's the next card here? On this reading for Aries, June 2021. Tell me one more, Spirit. Thief. Courthouse. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with child support here, child custody, because I see a child and a woman, karmic relationship. Um, someone could be going through this marriage, divorce, and I feel like the person that you're dealing with, if this isn't you, the karmic is a thief. He or she is taking this person's money or energy or trying to keep them tied up through this kid here. There's like a child involved in this connection that your purse is in, or this could be you that's married going through this courthouse divorce okay there is a marriage here going through some sort of divorce there is a thief we have 23 24 spirit is saying pull one more mature woman okay so this is uh an older woman here like i said yeah you you could be this mature woman going through um this child custody here or whatever is happening in court for some of you this is just some sort of court this situation that you have and you need to be careful about someone trying to maybe take full custody of your child or bribe your divine masculine here with trying to take their time and their money, okay? Distractions. I feel like you're staying put. This is your energy. You're staying put no matter what's going on, okay? You have this faith about you. You're very mature. Main male. So yeah, this could be, and then we have lovers. So someone here could be going through a divorce because they found out that they're, um, yeah, someone found out something with this message of concern. You could have found out that your person was cheating, okay, being mischievous with someone else, with another woman or another man here, um, depending on your situation. We also have here, I feel like there's a message of concern that you have read or someone has read about a false person, okay, about finding out that this person had multiple lovers or another lover, and it's like someone is in shock, they found out, and so they moved away from the situation. That's what's coming through. Take the high resonance, Aries. 
Spirit is guiding me to choose two from here. What's going on with Aries? We have separation. So yeah, there's a divorce here. There's some sort of separation that you might be going through. Okay, you could be getting a divorce to be with your divine counterpart. Or this could be your person getting a divorce, okay, to be with you. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future, okay? What else here for Aries? What's going on with the situation in the courthouse? Palm tree, stability, security, growth, endurance, flexibility. And date, meeting someone new. Dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. So yeah, I feel like... Um, a lot of you guys are going through a big transformation and growth. You're you're ready to start a whole new path for yourself, to renew yourself, I'm hearing. And if this is in your energy, then this is your person. I feel like they could be going to some court issue here to be with you, all right? Leaving the karmic relationship to be with you, and they're really, really missing you. Or I just feel like you are missing your person as well. Um... Okay, you could have just started dating. This could be a new person. You just started dating here. And I feel like this person wants some sort of deeper commitment with you. Something stable. Something secured. I'm also getting this person definitely could have a child here or a family. This person could be married here. Whatever separation is going on here, because it's right on the courthouse. It's like this person, someone is unsure of the future here. Maybe you're afraid to go out and date right because you're healing from this breakup i just feel like you are growing there's there's something in your stability here there might be someone new coming towards you that may want a complete uh something serious with you here all right where are we getting where are we getting spirit is guiding me to get the energy what is the overall energy here for aries in the month of june we have angel of love what is the overall energy for Aries in the month of June, Spirit? Abundance. So yeah, that's the palm tree there again. I feel like you guys are getting some sort of abundance with your stability straight through this courthouse here. You could have some money coming in. Like I said, there might be some sort of thief because you guys may be um, getting some sort of income coming through here we have blossoming abundance with that owl there it's like you've gained some sort of wisdom you've endured something we have happy family so like i said yeah you could have a family here you could have children or you were married to someone and you had two kids with this person and you guys were a happy family but i'm also getting here your person has a, a family okay because this is that third party situation with community here it's like they want a, a happy family with you. This person wants the, the whole ten, ten of uh, pentacles with you. You could be dealing with an earth sign. But whoever this person is, I feel like you hold a lot of love for this person and they hold a lot of love for you. The separation that you guys are in is really killing them because I feel like they're going through a lot or you might be going through this court. Yeah, there's a third party situation here. Let's see what else wants to come through here now. All right, what's going on with Aries spirit? What's the T for Aries in this situation? We connect through music. So there's this telepathic connection between you and this person. Deep trauma wounds, okay? For Aries spirit, connect it to the energy. Aries in the month of June. What's the tea here, Spirit? Okay, we have I'm still hurt about you know what. So whatever caused you both to separate, whether you found out this person's married or they found out that you're married, okay, this is still hurting this person or you. What else for my Aries messages? Spirit, what's going on with Aries and this this court system and this thief? Can you give us more tea here? Jesus, all these people falling like just one at a time, spirit. Or two, one at a time. Baby mama drama told you, yeah. Someone is going through here through a, a divorce, okay? 
And I feel like this baby mama or baby dad is trying to take your person, distract them, okay, rob them of either their money, take everything that they have through this to this divorce. She wants he or she wants to keep everything. Um, or just uh still still steal him away. I feel like since this person and you met on a date out of the new, it's like you met this person new. There's been a lot of sadness here, um, knowing that this person has somebody else with this community here. Okay, we also have trust issues. Yeah. He can't get you out of my head. That's that yearning. Okay, someone's thinking about you or you're thinking about this person, but this person can't get you out of their head. We will always have unfinished business. Okay, so it's like you guys are still connecting through through music. There's still a lot of love here. You are this person's ten of cups. They see a lot of success and abundance with you. However, there is this trust issues because there is a third party here. There is a baby mama drama here. There is a child. There's a court case going on. I'm hearing divorce, okay? All right, let's see. We have he or she blocked you. So, yeah, this baby moms don't play. Like I said, this person is trying to block you even energetically so that, you know, she wins this case or she gets to keep them. We also have manipulation. So, yeah, this person is very manipulative. Very manipulative. There is no one else. There's that. There's that. Yeah. I feel like she found out. He or she found out. That um, your person was secretly perhaps seeing you or that they had someone else. Um, this person with manipulation could be doing some sort of energy manipulation here, magic. But I do see like there's been a lot of arguments between them, your person and this other person. That's why they're getting this divorce. It's like, no, I'm not with someone else. But clearly if he or she blocked you, yes, she, she knows about you. She read whatever messages were sent back and forth to you guys see what else for Aries what's going on what's the tea someone has seen some sort of truth we have I don't want anyone but me to have you I feel like that's the karmic okay she doesn't want anyone but her or him to have this person so that's what she's been manipulating even energetically or just with the child you know trying to like hey let's we're this big happy family let's stick together Someone here wants to take you out on a date, okay? Because they do miss you. So I feel like it's not working. What else there for my Aries here? Yeah, this person is very toxic. I mean, like, clearly he or she wants to have your person chained in some sort of way. Hidden emotions and feelings. So there is love here. Your person just has some deep trauma wounds here, all right, that they need to heal. They do have hidden emotions for you. Let's take a break, okay? Even though you guys are on a break and you're not talking, this person still fundamentally sees you as their stability, their future here, even though it's very unstable at this moment. We also have, um, you're stuck with me, okay? So, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of... Okay, so this person like obviously wants to be with you they're really stuck on you right they're yearning for you they're thinking about you they're missing you okay so you're stuck with them and stuff like that but i'm also getting this karmic energy this person doesn't want to let your person go all right he or she is very much like obsessed with your person yeah look at that i was gonna say sly and look sneaky person yeah that's that thief this karmic energy she's a very he or she's a very sneaky person She's doing something here. Hidden manipulations. Yep. Police is investigating me. So there's a police investigation. Maybe that's where the courthouse is here too. Okay? Maybe this is why this person had to take a break from you. Because things were getting so crazy with this other person. This other person is so toxic. Right? There's a police investigation here. Because someone was doing some sneaky here as well. What's going on here, Spirit? Give us more information. A 
abandoned by mother or father, deadbeat. Yeah, I feel like the karmic um, here was telling the court, the court system, okay, that like your person wasn't paying child support, that they're just a deadbeat father or a deadbeat mother, okay, that they don't pay their, their dues, that they're never there for the child. But for others, I'm also getting here like with this deep trauma wounds, your person has abandonment issues because they didn't have their mom or dad growing up. So they, you know, don't want to abandon their child, right? They don't just want to abandon their child knowing that they went through suffering here. What is this investigation, if I may know? Narcissist. Yeah, this person that they're dealing with is a sneaky person, a manipulator. Okay, toxic, toxic, narcissist, heavy narcissist. That's why there's so many, like, cops investigation here and things. Because this person might be just literally an abusive uh, person to your partner. Uh, he or she is just a narcissist, a thief, okay? Love offer coming soon, though. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's this this person is going to ask you out on a date, okay? Love offer coming here. We're going to see this love. This could be someone new coming in or this person, but we'll, we'll, we'll check more in, okay? I got you, Aries. <laughs> All right, what's the tea spirit? What else is going on with this narcissist over here? What is going on? You guys, okay, some of you guys, literally, I'm also hearing we're dealing with a narcissist where you literally had to call the police on this person because they were being abusive to you. And now they're investigating the situation, even with the child, okay? Like, what's going on in the house? Is there any abuse? Take the high resonance, okay? I'm also getting this, that this mature woman, if this is not you, this is also this karmic staying put, like, very evilish, very devilish look, right? Like... What's that saying that was here? Like, no one else can have me but you, okay? Um, no one else, yeah. This, it's like, yeah. And then we have, I'm in another commitment. I told you, your person is in another commitment with someone very toxic, right? It's it's a narcissist. There's a police investigation. I'm seeing so much drama, yet you're this angel of love. You're this being of light in your person's life. Or this person is in your life, if this is your situation. Tell me more. All right. Deep, intense, passionate connection. That is you and your person. This is why this separation, you could be in a twin flame, hurts. Okay, they're very sad that, you know, they're enduring all this stuff. But it's like, they have this hope, right, with this love offer that things with you will be different. Intense, deep, passionate connection. There's so much, like, yeah, there's so much connection here. You feel like home to me. Yeah, for sure. You are you're, you know, the, the way you make this person feel is like they're blessed, they're happy. Like they can, you know, like you will care for their children if they have children and they will care for yours. And if you guys don't have children and they want that with you. Yeah, because you're soulmates. Your soulmates is coming soon. He or she may ask you on a day baby this is fate i just like to freestyle sometimes you may like to sing or your person because there's a lot of connecting through music here guys tell me about this soulmate and coming clearly there's that blockage right you guys are soulmates it's a deep intense connection the lovers right twin flame soulmate here I had to walk away. The, the connection was too intense. You or your person could have walked away. We have that twice here. The connection was too intense. All right? Too passionate. Too real. Too perfect. This person has trust issues because they are dealing with a narcissist. I regret losing you, though. Right? The separation, this break that has been taken has made this person think. Let's try again. It has made them think that they want a second chance with you. But yes, that's a confirmation, guys. Look, your person or you could be in an abusive relationship here. Someone in a, is in an abusive relationship. That narcissist, yeah, definitely could be hitting your person. Physically, verbally, where they had to literally call the cops because it gets that dramatic. There is an investigation going on about something sneaky here, though. And there's that thief. So someone is being investigated for a robbery. As well, I'm hearing on a side note, something. What else? What's going on with this abusive? Anything else you would like to tell me before I go into tarot? 
new start okay this person wants to start new with you that's that date right like getting back out there this could be you literally leaving an abusive relationship okay and spirit is telling you there's a love offer coming to you there's a fresh new start okay and there, yeah there might be people that you know come back saying their regret and stuff but be ready to let go of anything that's obviously if you're in an abusive relationship toxic thing you literally need to get out and not give anyone second chances for others of you there is a love offer coming here from someone from the past who wants a fresh new start with you and this person could have been dealing with a toxic relationship but you are their happiness like i said they're ten of cups Anything else? All right, I'll stop there. Someone here is not to be trusted with this thief spirit is saying. Okay? Take the high resonates. I feel like it might be this karmic, right? With this abusive relationship, someone is not to be trusted here. This person could be very... The person that they're dealing with, that you're dealing with, could be very charming. Very kind, okay? Might have also in the past seemed like a soulmate. And then you realize there, there's not. And so Spirit is telling you, go out there, date new people, okay? Say yes to any new uh, love offers that come towards you. Obviously, you know, use your intuition. But yeah, let's make love. So someone's thinking about you physically here. Yeah, with that passion, there's a lot of passion here when you guys have sex. You make me feel invisible. So yeah, I feel like um, that separation has made your person feel like you don't care because you guys have taken this break. Okay. Invisible. I also feel like this woman right here feels invisible. Like like this person gives you too much attention and not them. Yeah, because they're constantly thinking about you and he or she could tell. I love my memories with you. So this is somebody from the past. Soulmate connection. Six of Cups. This person loves you. Okay, there's someone out here that definitely has love for you because we have the angel of love. And I love you. Destiny is guiding you to real love. Right? So if you have been in this abusive relationship, forget about it. All right? You are being guided to new real love. Get this divorce. Get out of it. Go to the court. Go do whatever you got to do. Be careful of thieves. Okay? Missing you. Again, we have that yearning, thinking about you. You're heavily on this person's mind. They just can't wait to date you. Like, they just keep thinking about dating you and having a family. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Again, so much fucking thinking. Okay. What can you tell me about this courthouse? What's going on with the courthouse here, spirit? Okay, so someone is manifesting something here with this courthouse. You're manifesting things to work in your favor or this person is. I'm also seeing here someone feel like they hold the power with this court case. Like, I have the wand. I have all the power in my hands. All right? And there are some secrets that have not been revealed here. What is this courthouse with the moon? You may not see this coming. Or your person might have not seen this coming. Or maybe the karmic didn't see this divorce coming. There was something being done behind the scenes here as well with magic is what I'm getting. Okay. Someone has to make some sort of decision because they were juggling two people. Things were not balanced. Yeah, because there was a third party situation. So that's why there's getting a divorce here. Page of Cups. Apology. Yeah, this could be the child too here. Child custody. And we do have the devil. It's like somebody's literally trying to divorce this devil. This toxic energy, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, heavy Cancer, and we also have Gemini. Okay, we have Scorpio as well, the death card. So there is an ending here to some marriage or a relationship. Um, most definitely, this could be you or your person. Okay, and they're coming towards you with passion. As soon as I said that, the Ace of Wands. Okay, they're coming towards you with passion to offer you a new passionate beginning. They're really trying to get rid of this devil, this person who was so manipulated, so toxic. This person was trying to chain your person with a child, okay, with all this baby mama drama. Um, yeah. Yeah, your person is an emperor here, Aries energy. This could be your boss or somebody that's very stable. Maybe this is why this person's trying to take their money because your person may actually have money here. We have the 10... 
of wands so your person is dealing with a lot of burdens right now they feel like they just want to get to you but there's a lot of obstacles in the way okay um they're still very persistent though with the six of cups it's like they know you're their soulmate you might have known this person for a very long time um you could have grown up with them i'm here in childhood friends with that eight of swords okay this person is heavily stuck on you they know that you're their soulmate they're heavily stuck on you we have the seven of swords pop up again that's the deceit energy here so let's see what's this seven of swords yeah this someone is watching you here i feel like it's the karmic she's watching you he or she is watching you your social media manipulating behind the scenes here okay there is someone here that is also taking something from someone i'm getting the energy of stealing something or trying to one up somebody yeah this could be the ba the baby mama empress energy here six of wands okay i see i feel like you're you have some type of success here um or following where people see you you're getting some success and people are watching you being sneaky very competitive with you okay tell me more about the five of uh yeah this could be uh libra gemini aquarius because so much air sign here who's this person watching my aries secret admirer i'm hearing secret admirer we have leo the strength Someone is admiring your strength here, how you're holding yourself up like the queen or king that you are. We also do have the emperor and empress here. So I feel like you and your person are a great match for each other. You are true soulmates here. Past live as well with the six of cups. And this person feels very, very stuck at this time. Like there's just so much getting in the way and they just want to offer you flowers. Tell them how they feel about you. Um, they might be dealing with some depression right now. We have the three of swords. So it's like... They're remaining very strong here, even though they're seeing things from a uh, different perspective, having some sort of epiphany or enlightenment and during this phase of, of pausing and reflecting on this third party situation. It's like they feel this strong tug towards you and they still pull away and they're resistant um, in the past. What's this three of swords? Someone here is single or wants to be single. Yeah. Someone here wants to be single here to come towards you. This person cannot wait to be single to come towards you or you single to come to come towards this person. Because they want to go towards their destiny. They're tired of being this wounded warrior and accepting fucking breadcrumbs. All right. Being with people that are made that are boring and, you know, they just like. They're not interested, obviously, all right? But it's like with you, they don't want to give up. They want to continue going. They want to, they're ready to like pull down these walls because the passion, the spark that they feel with you, it's like there's this great shift coming upon you both, okay? And this person does see you as their destiny. Let's see. Yeah, the star. Yeah, they see you as the one, Aquarius energy here. And someone has to make a choice, whether this is you or your person. Someone here needs to make a choice. And I feel like there's no need because, you know, um, they're planning this future, even though the future may seem uncertain here. If you see this world here, this person knows like you're the chosen one. You're the star. You're the main attraction. Yeah, a lot of you here could be in the public recognition because we already had the six of wands, the star and the empress. OK, so you could have some sort of public recognition here, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube or just be such a very beautiful person that like everyone really feels your aura and your energy like you have this star energy about you okay the star stardom energy about you the star also speaks about healing yeah ten of swords it's like this person wants to run towards you because they just don't want to disappoint you they know that they held back so much before and they want to reconcile here. They see you as the most beautiful thing in the world. As their, their perfect match sent from heaven. Like God made you perfectly for them. Okay. And with this ten of swords. I feel like you know. Things could have just ended very abruptly. Or this person is definitely planning on um, ending here. There has been a separation with your person and the karmic. Okay. So it's like. Whatever bad ending happened here. Betrayal. This person wants a second chance. They want to resurrect this connection. They have faced some sort of judgment here. 
but they're coming in swiftly, like super, super fast. You could be dealing with an air sign to offer you this time something solid, okay? It's a blessing here, okay? Someone wants to might even offer you a gift. This is you, Queen of Wands, very attractive, very fiery. Yeah, this person definitely sees you with the Ten of Cups, but something about family here. Yeah, someone definitely here is married with the higher fifth. Yep, baby mamas. All right, let's see anything else wants to come out from here before I let you go, Aries. And then I'll give you some advice. We have love calls. So expect this person to call you, all right? They're going to express this message of love to you, letting you know that they're thinking about you. So ring, ring. We also have the butterfly. Again, I told you, transformation. There's, there's a, um, this relationship is evolving to the next phase now. All right, there's been a lot of healing with the star. And like I said, childhood. A lot of inner wounds, childhood wounds here have been healed because we have this mask here. This person wasn't showing you their true emotions. They were pretending and now they don't want to pretend. They have transformed like the phoenix. Look at this, guys. We have the butterfly and the phoenix. Huge major transformation. It's like there are things behind the scenes that you don't know. But this person is like juggling a decision here. But to come towards you and end whatever they got to end, all right? We have wedding rings, union, married, soul connection, eternal love. They feel this eternal love with you, but this person is married, okay? They feel a soul connection with you because this is a spiritual love. And so, yeah, there is a new face. Something is shifting with the Wheel of Fortune, all right? They want to renew and ooh, restart this whole connection. That's so weird. My entire deck fell on the floor. All the cards fell. So it's like, I might as well say this person has so much to say. And they feel like it's all over the place. Like, where do I start? I have so much to say. Or so much to, to tell you, to explain what's been going on. Okay. Anything else? Because sheesh, that felt like crazy. We have seduction. That's that thief here, okay? Flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third eye interference. Yeah, it's like for some of you, this person is still dealing with this karmic. And this karmic is like being this thief, tempting your person with, like I said, with sex. Or, um, ooh, I'm also getting, uh, this could be somebody that your person works at, okay? Because we do have the office. So your person could work in an office or something, and they have this other woman that they work with, okay? And you probably cut them out if you were married, and now this person wants to fresh start, start over in this marriage. For others of you, this person was in a marriage, or is, okay? And, and they hid this love from you, and, you know, they were seduced at work. And that was that third party interference. Tell me about this seduction here. Yeah, they were dating here, flirting, hooking up with people at work with that emperor. Hammer. Yeah, that's work. We have sabotage, okay? Interrogation, persistent, working on it. So there is an interrogation here also with the police thing coming up. That's going to happen with court, okay? But there is a lot of love here. There's a lot of unconditional love that keeps popping up and attraction. This person sees your pictures. There's, they're literally in nostalgia, looking at your pictures, missing you, trying to make new memories. But there is this stab in the back. There is this pain, this heartbreak, this separation that happened because there was deception that was discovered. You could have discovered that your person literally had somebody else at work, was being very flirtatious, acting like they're single. Let's see what's your advice, and then I'll let you go. Advice for Aries. Door to romance, told you. There's that love coming through. There's a lot of healing. You need to relax, okay? There's a lot of healing that has been going on in your life and in your twin or your soulmates here. All right? There is a brand new beginning for both of you. There's a lot of love. This person is going to give you this person you could be dealing with an air sign here we have the thinking man so this person is just like thinking about how to come towards you how to start over okay they do see your value and i do see some income coming towards you because i feel like you're obviously a god is all right you're very beautiful very attractive and um yeah there might be some money that just comes out of nowhere for some of you 
Thank you so much, Aries. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? I'm also hearing let love, allow love in. Look at these doors. So many doors are opening for you here in love, finances, your personal life. Open this, okay? Some of you guys may not want to do that because you've been stabbed in the back. Spirit is saying, go ahead with this, all right? Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries. I hope this reading resonated. Ciao.